All right, it's your boy Fanon. Welcome back to the channel. So, Terrence Crawford Pro Video here. Bud Crawford embarrasses Canelo Alvarez as details of Canelo Alvarez. Offer from David Benavitez air. Terrence Crawford also gives an interview in which he says, pause, as so many people in my channel like to say, pause, wants to dry rub. <laughs> Errol Spence Jr. also talks about his legacy. Let's talk about those things in this video. But before I do, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, uh, thank you so much for your continued support. But before we get into that, uh, let's just I just want to tell you real fast about today's sponsor, the Boxing Showtime app. It's a very useful app that keeps you updated on all things boxing and you can keep up with the latest fights, where to watch them, the latest news and a lot more for any hardcore boxing fan like myself and most likely all of you, all of y'all. I would definitely recommend downloading it. Uh, and it also is a most definitely a big support uh, to the channel. It's available for both Apple and Android. And you can find the link in the description below. Uh, thanks uh, for considering getting uh, downloading Boxing Showtime's app. But let's get back into the subject matter of the video. All right, man. So Terrence Crawford is giving interviews out in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, it was aired by Fight Hype yesterday very good uh very good interview uh giving more and more insight into what's going on with him in the fight um and he made a statement about his career and what the Errol Spence Jr. fight means for it and he said maintain once again that this may or may not be the biggest fight of his career and that he was already comfortable with his career and believes that he's a Hall of Famer without this fight with Errol Spence Jr. Now, you may say, Fanon, how does that relate to Canelo Alvarez? Let me explain how that relates to Canelo Alvarez and also how, how what Ryan Garcia did in his career also relate to Ryan Garcia, uh, relate to Canelo Alvarez. And... First, though, let me tell you what news has come out from Samson Leskovich, who is the promoter of David Benavidez. They said that they, for the undisputed fight at 168 pounds, that Canelo Alvarez was offered a huge amount of money, will and will again be offered a huge amount of money, the biggest money that he can make in the sport of boxing, to fight David Benavidez. In response to that, Eddie Reynoso, the manager, trainer, protector um, of Canelo Alvarez, responded as if it was a joke. And I don't think that anybody really believes that David Benavidez is going to get a fight with Canelo Alvarez for the undisputed title at 168 pounds, no matter what. And... Eddie Reynoso, I do believe, called the fight between the two a fantasy. This is the attitude that Canelo Alvarez has had for, for all of the big fights that he that has been offered to him, with the exception of Gennady Golovkin 3, which wound up not being that big a fight because people were not interested in it. So for me, the connection is this. Terrence Crawford is actually willing to take a fight that people want to see take place one that he says that he does not necessarily believe is going to make him or break him but one that he said is going to for the people in Omaha and the people around him and the fans that he have are going to give them an opportunity to see him climb to the highest height highest height of the sport and give the fans what they want to see in what people consider to be a pick em fight that is something that Canelo Alvarez, who is in the exact same position, is not willing to do and has not been willing to do for some time. He was not willing to do it to fight Demetrius Andrade, which was a pick em fight. He was not willing to do it against Jamal Charlo, who, whom he was offered. My understanding is $40 million to fight and would not do it with Jamal Charlo. 
Now that he's at 168 pounds, he's the undisputed champion at 168. There is no doubt who the number two guy at 168 pounds right now is. And that is the undefeated David Benavidez, the former WBC champion that lost his belt on the scale, at, who lost his belt on the scale a couple years ago, where Canelo Alvarez came by and picked it up. So that right there is the best fight that he could have at 168 pounds. At 170 pounds, 70 pounds, 175 pounds rather, that is not a fight that people are clamoring to see. The fight between he and Dimitri Bivol in a weight class that Canelo Alvarez, quite honestly, if it wasn't for the thing that makes his career suspect, which is that juice, would anybody believe that he actually belongs in? But to fight guys that are that are young, that are hungry, that are talented, that are skilled, and there's some question of what, whether or not they, uh, Canelo can win the fight, Canelo will not accept the fight. Ryan Garcia also did the same thing and actually pushed to fight uh, Gervonta Davis and give fight fans the fight that people want to see. So I don't know whether this is going to um, ever be heard by Terrence Crawford fans where I give him much credit for taking this fight with Errol Spence Jr. And also being in a fight that is, I agree, a pick em fight. I can understand why people would say that Terrence Crawford can win this fight. And I'm going to say that consistently all the way until the fight takes place. This is It is a fight where Terrence Crawford has the ability to do something with Errol Spence Jr. If anybody in that way class does with the exception of maybe uh Jerron Ennis who also I think very very highly of um he is that type of fighter and Errol Spence Jr. is willing to take that fight on with Terrence Crawford when he did not have to and Air and Terrence Crawford was in position it took that fight with Errol Spence Jr. when he didn't really have to I it's a little bit more of a question about what Terrence Crawford would have done if he didn't but at the end of the day he did and I would love to see Canelo Alvarez fans get on Canelo Alvarez and push a fight where we could see the same thing from Canelo Alvarez, whether it is David Benavidez, whether it is Demetrius Andrade, whether it is David Morrell, uh, Jamal Charlo, one of the litany of people that de- that that Canelo Alvarez has refused to act like he is willing to get in the ring with while he's on his Euro tour with guys like Callum Smith, Rocky Fielding, Yelderham and the like. So, again, uh, the only issue that I would say is a little bit of a pause moment in here, and I got to do it for comedy's sake, is where Terrence Crawford said that he's going to dry rub Errol Spence Jr. for the fresh fry. <laughs> Nah, man, I don't I don't really like I think that's a little bit of a corny. I think that's a little bit corny, man, a little bit. It's not truly suspect because I don't doubt that man like that or really care either way. Just thought it was funny, man. And I know that people are going to say something about it. But so let me be the one. But anyway, man, hey, I'm I'm definitely happy that Terrence Crawford is taking this fight. I watched that. I watched that. Your Danny's Ugas fight with Errol Spence Jr. again just last night. And let me tell you, man, that kid right there is an animal. So getting in there with that animal, dog, hey, man, I hope I, Terrence Crawford seems extremely, extremely confident. Errol seems extremely, extremely confident. And those guys are going to go in there, man. They're going to give a great fight for everybody and people are going to get their money's worth. That's for sure. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comments section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.